Okay, in this um, in this tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to how to bind uh, how to you know bind your drop down list uh, with the enum data type. In you know in uh, basically, I'm gonna create an ASP.NBC project. So let's go ahead and create a new project. I'm gonna choose ASP.NBC for web application. I'm gonna give name binding drop down list. Okay, I'm happy with that. Let's go ahead and create a new one. I'm going to create an um, empty web application using the Razor View engine. All right. So, I'm not going to use any team foundation server, so that's not my option. So, it doesn't have anything. See? Is everything is empty right here. So very first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to say, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and create a controller. I'm going to say uh, drop down. Let's say a uh, default. Example one control. Example one controller. I'm not going to use this one because it can be, it's going to be empty control because nothing is there. I don't have any models or anything right now. Okay, so it just has example one controller. So for this, I'm going to go ahead and, and create um, a view in index using the razor. Okay, that's fine. And I don't have any master pay. Well, let's see. Okay, that's all I have here. So let's make sure I can. So here's example one, but of course, you know, I need to know it. Ha the router has to know that it has to go into example example one controller, which doesn't exist. So I'm gonna go into global SX file, and register the routes. This is where I have to go to register my new routes. So of course there is no no home controller. New controller that I have is called example one. Example one, and it, it has an index action method, and I think this will be fine. So let's go ahead and run it. Okay, awesome. It goes into our index, you know, it went into this new controller and went inside this guy right here. So my goal right here, let's say, I would like to um, say, I want to have a drop-down list. Inside that drop-down list, um, I would like to show the roles of the user. Let's say, you know, I would press. Okay. So next thing I'm going to, do, I'm going to go ahead and create a new folder in here. I'm going to create a new folder. Oops, oops, it is running, that's why it doesn't allow me to. So I'm going to go ahead and create a new folder. I'm just going to say, uh, enums. My, all my enums will be, will be residing inside this one. So basically, I'm going to go ahead and create a new item. It's a code. User role. Okay. Public enum user role in user to boom. Okay, this is where now I'm going to say, all right. I'm going to say a manager a supervisor a application admin I'm just making this up you know some of the possible user role in an in an application maybe developer has a role too and maybe a project manager whatever just you know Project manager, boom. Okay, something like that. This is my enum. Make sure I'm gonna go ahead and build it. Make sure it builds okay. Oh, there's a syntax error. Yeah, that's not 
that was I don't know why I had that because yeah okay good it's it's a bill so now I would like to um, I would like to have this one as a, as a you know one more thing you can do with enum type they say for example let's say application admin I don't want to display name as like that maybe you would like to um, then you can decorate using description this is for using this name space now I can decorate and give a name to this one it has to constructor let's say from for some reason you know you don't like this kind of name maybe you want to show it to the user application admin similar same thing for the description boom project manager yeah that's okay all right so you know I would like to display the name like that supervisor is okay supervisor um, you know application admin developer is just one word and project manager yeah that's good now I have my enum type so I would like to display this enum uh, for some reason let's say my requirement um, I would like to you know bind this enum with my uh, drop down list in MBC4 let's see how to do it Uh, to do that, uh, the way uh, let's go ahead and create some helper classes here. I'll follow the same pattern. I'm going to go ahead and add a new folder called helpers. And inside that, I'm going to add a additional folder called enum helper. That's what it's going to be. Enum helper. And then I'm going to create a one. I'm going to go ahead and create a new class I'm gonna say you know helper class okay I want to make this guy static little static class so you don't have to create instance of this guy to use it and then I'm gonna say something like that I'm gonna create a public public static select list this is what I would like to return because it doesn't know what the namespace of that guy is so I said control dot that would give me the namespace I edit that one too and I'm gonna say all right get selected item list or whatever something like that and I would I'm gonna make this generic so that any enum type can work so I'm gonna make sure I want to say where say t has to be struct so kind of like imitating how the you know you know looks like so right now this little red squiggly is saying hey you will not return anything i'm going to say just return empty right now he's okay all right so this is where i'll be writing my code very first thing i'm going to do i'm going to say t equals to i can use um default right here because i don't know what it is and this is going to be the t Okay, great. And the, other, uh, the next thing I have to make sure I'm going to say, if somebody passed me other something other than T, sorry, I did the uh, wrong way. Default of T, that's what I mean to do. So I'm going to say, hey, tell me your type. If Give me the type, and there is a very nice method called is enum. It's a boolean property for the you know like the git type if it's i would say if it is not enum hey if it is not enum i don't know what uh, you know i don't have to i'm gonna throw i'm gonna say i don't know how to deal with you sending me i'm gonna throw exception new argument null exception or something like that i'm gonna say please send me whatever you like you know please make sure that T is of 